Holy cow. Oh, hey guys, how you doing? It's Henry at Mowers and Mowers. Good afternoon. It's been two days of absolute uh, downpours and nonstop rain. I believe this is from uh, a nor'easter called Eartha. Either way, uh, it puts a damper on wrenching, you know what I'm saying? It's cold, it's clammy, and more so it's wet, very wet. Uh, this is a uh, sump cover oil pan from uh, MTD uh, 420cc engine, you know, the power no more engine. I've had like three of them. All three of them that I had had blown connecting rods. But parts do sell well on eBay, and I sold this for about $35 yesterday on eBay. And uh, to do the guy a favor, he asked if I could clean up the sludge a little bit before I ship it. And I'm saying, yeah, sure. Uh, anyway, so I'm going to be cleaning up this uh, sump cover today uh, just so I can ship it. You know, so it doesn't drip oil all over the place. But then my next project is probably going to be this. <clears throat> oh, first of all, you guys remember I picked this up yesterday for free. Thanks to a tip from Frank the UPS guy. I uh, I actually like it so much that I ordered a, um, I know, I spent money. I ordered a, uh, you know, string head deflector cover, guard, you know. It was uh, $15, so I figured, you know, $15, I'll have a nice steel weed whacker as a spare or if I decide to sell it, whatever. You also know I have this... Uh, this was off of a lawn boy that I picked up, right? And uh, this engine is a 6.5 Kohler. Somebody had hacked off the uh, gas cap, and as a result, the gas tank is now trashed. You know what I mean? Because you couldn't put a gas cap back on there again. So uh, to get this going, you'd need another gas tank, which I'm not going to buy. I think it's like $25, $30 on eBay. Also, the uh, dipstick. Dipstick? Cletus, you know what you are. You're a dipstick. A 14 carat dipstick. The dipstick has been gnawed off, like over here. It looks like an animal actually went, went to town over here. It's missing the dipstick. And also, uh, it's all chewed up over here, so you couldn't even put a cap on there if you wanted to. So the gas tank and the dipstick assembly is done! Front cover here is gnawed off by some kind of animal over here too. But I was kind of curious as to whether or not this engine would run. It's a decent engine, you know what I'm saying? Also the uh, recoil seems to be frozen. So I'm not even sure about this engine, you know? So before I take it apart and sell it for parts, or keep them in case I get another one like this, I'm gonna try to figure out whether or not I could try to fix it, you know what I'm saying? Get it to run. I've got my uh, got my stand over there. It's it's basically a um, you know it's an old power washer frame. You know I use it to carry around my air compressor if I need to bring it somewhere. So I was thinking about uh, if I if I could get the recoil fixed, right, for it to move, right, because it's frozen right now, locked up. I could mount this engine on there. I have this old um, edge of a gas tank. I could kind of like put it here, attach a fuel line into the carburetor, right? And I have this Briggs uh, dipstick. I can kind of make it fit and work, you know? Just so I could see if it starts up and, and you know, it still works, you know? Just not sure. But right now, I'm gonna clean up that sump.
So the first thing we gotta do is let's try to uh, get this engine unlocked. Because right now the recoil starter is just the thing is pulled here and it won't turn. So let's remove the recoil starter. It's three 10 millimeter bolts, uh, nuts. And looks like somebody has been in here because they're super loose. Just a cover. The recoil comes right out. And the recoil starter is completely trashed. See? Whoever tried to put this back together again didn't put it back together. It's all warped and out of shape and actually maybe if I could just tighten this bolt it might be better. Yeah, it doesn't even feel like there's any spring in it. Guess I'm gonna have to take this apart and see. There we go. All this stuff just came out. Springs in there. Oh my god, what a mess. Halls. No recoil spring at all. And I definitely do not have a Kohler one. So, you know what? It's going to take too much to fix this engine, you know? Completely too much. So, I'm going to have to think about this whether or not I want to try to go on or not because without a recoil starter, without the gas tank, without blah blah blah, it's just really a lot of work, you know? And that's just to figure out whether or not this engine works or not, you know? So I think I'm just gonna take it apart. Sell it for parts. Good flywheel cup. Magneto, heads, muffler, carburetor, air cleaner cover. You know, I mean, there's stuff on here that's worth something, you know? I'll probably just do that.
So there you go. That is a complete disassembly of an XT 6.5 Kohler push mower engine. A uh, lot of good parts here, and they're all good too. Let's start with the crankshaft. Good journals. There's really nothing wrong with it. I mean, it's a little rusty and stuff. I'm including the cup as well as the nut. It's camshaft. It's actually a good engine block with the exception of a little bit of scoring on the bottom. I don't think I'm going to sell that. I'm just going to chuck it, you know? Muffler, muffler cover, engine shroud, blower fan, recoil starter is Dunsky because it doesn't have a coil in it, muffler gasket, air filter base, air filter, air filter cover, recoil cover. That's the uh, Tecumseh uh, gas tank or, yeah. Uh, sump cover is good too. Maybe somebody wants it. Um, not sure. Heads are good. Piston and crank, uh, piston and connecting rod is in good condition. And I know these go for some money, you know, like maybe 20 bucks or something. There's a spacer to the carburetor. I know people are always looking for this because when people take it off, they never put it back on again. So that, um, throttle bracket, um, kill switch brake assembly. This is the thermostat for the auto choke, you know, for the muffler. When the muffler heats up, this turns, keeps the co uh, choke flap open. It's a Kohler carburetor. Valve cover, all the 10 millimeter bolts. I mean, everything here was 10 millimeter with the exception of 5 16 for the sump bolts, which is strange how they use 5 16 and millimeter too, you know. Uh, gas tank is Dunsky and the dipstick is Dunsky. But uh, everything else I'm going to take some pictures of and list on my eBay and uh, maybe get uh, 50 bucks out of it. You know what I'm saying? I know, it was a lot of work to do, but you know what? I don't think I've ever taken apart a Kohler push mower engine before, so this is my first time taking it apart. So, you you know, I always want to try and do everything, you know, try try everything. Uh, anyway, I'm going to my friend Andy from Jericho's house to spend the rest of the day, but uh, that'll be my video for today. Disassembly of an XT 6.5 Kohler push mower engine. Everything taken apart. Let's see how much money I get for this. <laughs> what a mess. I'm going to have to clean this up later. You know what I mean? Anyway, thanks a lot for joining me on today's episode, fellas. We'll see you guys next time on Mowers and Blowers. See you next time on Mowers and Blowers.